flourishing militarism is it necessary in the modern world? Take a look at the United States. It has 6,000 military bases on its own territory and a record number of military facilities abroad, more than any other country in the world. Experts estimate the number of sites to be from 6 to over 800. They are thought to be based in 130 countries. Add another 60 countries or so, and that's the entire world. According to investigative journalist Wayne Matson, many of the locations are kept secret. There was just recently an incident where a, uh, an Air Force uh, enlisted man uh, had crashed into a wedding procession in Lithuania. It turns out he was attached to a, an air base in Lithuania. So we're, every day we, we find out about additional U.S. bases that we haven't heard of in the past. The reasons for the secrecy vary. Alexander Cooley, author and expert on U.S. military bases overseas, says often countries with American bases on their territory prefer to keep quiet about it. Uh, as U.S. legitimacy uh, has declined, uh, host country governments have been less uh, willing to publicly be associated with the U.S. But others are always ready to flaunt anything they have when it comes to the United States, like the Georgian president who has recently been more than welcoming when it comes to American presence on his country's territory. Mikhail Saakashvili has reportedly offered the United States several thousand hectares of land to use for military bases. Often, smaller countries allow bases to be set up on their territory for financial reasons, like Russia's neighbor, Kyrgyzstan. But the Georgian president is ready to give all he can rent-free. And at a time when the country could really use the extra buck or two. Saakashvili has offered the land with a 90-year lease. Georgia wants continuous uh, and prolonged security engagement. Uh, with the United States and with the West more broadly and uh, especially now that it sees that its path the Euro-Atlantic integration has in some way been stymied it perceives that a security relationship with the US is the best way to guarantee that Western and Euro-Atlantic orientation so any offer of uh, Georgian territory or facilities to the United States or to NATO members is an attempt to uh, lock in that kind of security interest and that type of engagement. Meanwhile, some analysts say the United States doesn't even need about a quarter of the military bases it has set up around the world. Moreover, others say it simply can't afford them. We won't be able to pay for all these bases and we may see many of these being closed now. Last year, the United States spent hundreds of billions of dollars on its military, almost as much as the rest of the world's defense spending combined. And all this at a time when common taxpayers have been counting pennies to make ends meet. One way for the United States to have more cash to invest in the needs of the people would be to stop spending enormous amounts on the military. But there are analysts who warn it's very possible that the American ambitious policies will not change too dramatically with the new president. Anastasia Cherkina, RT, New York.